Joe Ryan with the Connecticut Sports Scene. Hey, it's a big week for some college football players as they wait to see if they are picked in this year's NFL Draft. Brian College's Thomas Sikoskin is one of those athletes waiting to see if he hits the proverbial lottery. The Stanford native put together an impressive career with the Bulldogs, and now we'll see if he will hear his name called from the stage or have to enter this, the NFL as a free agent. We spoke with him on the phone today. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Joe Ryan back on the scene, and today we have Thomas Costigan as he gets ready for hopefully what's going to be an exciting week. We don't know yet, but it is drafting the NFL. Thomas, how you doing? Thanks for having me on. Uh, what is going on right now with you? Uh, what have you been doing since the end of your uh, college career? Uh, not much. I finished up school early, so uh, right after Christmas, I went down to Florida and I trying to my pro day. Down. Came back up mid March, had my pro day at school, and Guys from home, still working out, training for uh, this weekend. All right, take us through the process. Um, you know, the draft is a big thing right now with fans uh, at every level. Uh, the discussion of who's going where and when and why, and you know, everybody's predicting who's going to be, and especially in the top ten. Um, but everything focuses on those D1 players that everybody's familiar with. For you as one of the top D3 players, what's the process for you as maybe compared to them, or is there any difference? Well, Brian's D1 AA, so uh, but the process for me is kind of similar. I mean, I don't have as many people that also uh, kind of use as references as how they went through the process, but I have a kid who went through the process last year, um, a receiver. I kind of spoke twice, went through the pro day and all that kind of stuff. He was actually on the AF. Uh, Apollos before uh, actually tearing his Achilles uh, before the league folded. But um, so I just asked him for, him for some advice. And compared to those guys, they kind of have I mean, set up to go to the NFL, and everyone's dream there is they're, filled, they're surrounded by people who want to go to the NFL. It's kind of a process for me is kind of when I get to Bryant, not many people are, still have their eyes on the NFL, where I, ever since I got to Bryant, that's always been my goal in the first place. Um, so that is kind of two of the main things I'd say were the, probably the biggest difference. When we talk about a pro day, we hear that term a lot. Take me to what a pro day is for those people who don't really know what, what, what it entails. Um, a pro day is a uh, stress, to put it lightly. Um, <laughs> it's basically a day. It's about it lasts about five hours. Uh, you show up. Um, there's scouts, whatever. They get your... Uh, Information. I fill out a bunch of papers for them, and then got to take a one-way test, which is uh, 50 questions in 12 minutes. You answer as many questions as you can. Um, then after that, they get your height, weight. Um, then they test uh, your vertical jump. Um, then they test uh, how many reps at 225 you can get on the bench. Then uh, broad jump. Then 40-yard dash. Uh, five times five L drill time and all those things um after that they'll put you through position drills and kind of test out what you move and all that kind of stuff um afterwards teams can take you in and have you uh basically quiz you on a whiteboard to see uh x and o if you know the game of football that well and all that kind of stuff and right after you one thing you kind of have to wait for everyone else to go there's a lot of waiting and trying to stay warm and basically trying to stay at your best uh throughout that four or five hours span. How many players are typically at the pro day, or how many how many players were at your pro day? Uh, we had about, uh, I think it was 11 or 12. It kind of depends. Um, so we had uh, players from Brown at our pro day. Because mm-hmm. um, we have an indoor cell, it was pretty uh, cold outside when we had it. But um, it depends. I mean, big schools probably let in maybe a couple outsiders. The NFL puts a limit on a kind of range for, like, it's range from your school and range from your hometown and where you got that speed in a pro day. Um, so I kind of had to do my pro, uh, pro day just at Bryant when I was uh, you're allowed back for you, so I was kind of trying to look at doing it at a bigger, uh, bigger school as well. But there were no real 1A schools that um, were in the range that I was allowed, so I kind of just had to stick with Bryant's pro day. How many scouts showed up? Um, I, mean, I don't know. Really don't know. Uh, I have no idea. Not there wasn't a great showing, but good enough. Only okay. Just one team, right? Exactly. That's all. That's, that's all you're looking for. Uh, what was your coming out of the pro day? How did how did you feel? You did. I thought I did well. Um, 
40 was all right, but everything else I didn't get in a crush, so um, felt confident coming out of it. Okay, so what any indication this week uh, of anybody? I've, I've read some of the scouting reports of you online, which are very, um, you know, hyped and, and sound very good. A lot of people are impressed by the career you put together at Bryant. Of course, the everything they throw up is it's Bryant, uh, which is really unfair. I think, you know, uh, it doesn't matter where a player plays if he's a player. Um, but the ones I've read, read online, everything is, is really, you're hitting all the marks from what I hear. Uh, did you get any, any feedback or have you gotten any feedback uh, about any interest? I know, I know you don't have to reveal who, but I mean, have you gotten any feelers out there? And, I mean, I've talked to a few teams um, uh, since the pro day. Uh, it's that some of them were teams that I talked to since, that came to see me in the fall that I've been talking to throughout this process, and some were a couple new teams. Um, they'll work out um, for a team or two after the pro day, and they thought they did well, so I, I'm staying in contact with them. It kind of uh, all unfolds. You know, one thing that's got to maybe, I, I know you, you told me when we talked last how it, it stirred you to uh, the achievements you had at Bryant because, um, you know, everybody dreams of playing D1 and you felt that that kind of pushed you that even though you loved being at Bryant, that D1 schools maybe didn't you didn't reach out to you as much as possible and really gave you motivation to, to really be the best player. You could be at Bryant. Um, up the road, you know, Zach Allen, your old uh, adversary, New Canaan, is getting a lot of of uh, pub from uh, from BC. Uh, is this kind of stirring you, saying, "Jesus, if we get, if I'm in camp, uh, I'll show them there that they should look, they should look at me. We came from the same background. Anything like that?" Yeah, I mean, it's always been that uh, Zach Allen's kind of been getting all the hype, come out of SCI, all that kind of stuff, and he went to Canaan and I went to Trinity. I mean, it's whatever. I know as long as I get in the camp, I'm uh, do my best. I know I'm gonna impress the people. So that's my biggest thing is getting out of that roster. It's all uh, looking to do uh, for this weekend, I guess. How have you have you been talking to anybody? I like mean, local players that have played, maybe uh, Kevin Pierre Lewis, anybody like that. Have you have you still reached out to to talk to them about the process and the things you should be looking at? Anybody you know um, that's currently in the pros or had a had a day in the pros that me you might talk to? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, there's no one that I really knew. Uh, I know like Kevin Pierre Lewis or uh, Silas Ray. I, mean, I talked to. Uh, Silas's dad, because he worked with my buddy Drew's dad, um, uh, to come like kind of like I was going through the process after my junior year. He was kind of uh, giving me some pointers and stuff like that to go through. But for right now, it's kind of just everything that I put out there is out there, and we'll see what happens. When you look back at Bryant right now, um, what do you what, what comes to mind uh, about what the school meant to you, what the football team meant to you? What 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 talk to me about the, what the Bulldogs have meant to you and in, in, in your development as a football player? Yeah, I mean that obviously uh, means a lot to him. I wouldn't change a thing. Uh, I don't know the school that I went to because there was a there was only school I offered me for. Uh, and uh, looking back at it now, I'm obviously so thankful for everything they gave to me, and obviously gave me the opportunity to show my talents. And I couldn't uh, I couldn't imagine you no. Know, of bonds and relationships that I built there if I didn't end up there so I'm glad I did and I'm excited to represent the Bulldogs in the future. Uh, so the uh the overall feeling coming into this week, uh, just, just sitting back, getting ready for camp, whoever you're, wherever it takes you. Um, what's the, what, have you getting any getting any, uh, any people from the, the Stanford area reaching out to you, asking you about where you are and what you what you've been up to? Yeah, definitely. Everyone's asking uh, the big question if I'm gonna get my calls on uh, Saturday. But to me, it's as long as I sign a contract and get the ninety man, I'm ready to roll, and uh, I'm excited to see where I end up. So, but everyone's been reaching out, you know, all my old friends and everything. I hear them having talked to them a lot. Always wish we could love and all that kind of stuff. So. Well, I can tell you, you did us all proud in the college career, and I know that any any pro team that gives you a chance, you're going to give them a hint, and they'll be proud to have you. Uh, thank you for your time here today. Uh, I got to get give I got to talk to you off the air for a minute, and uh, thank you again for appearing on the show. Yeah, definitely. Thanks so much for listening.